Into, into, in. Showtime. Good morning. Good morning. It's Friday. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. It's sunny. It's sunny. Isn't that nice? But it's cold. It's cold. It is cold. Out there today. <laughs> You're repeating everything I say. That's because I agree with everything you say. <laughs> That's funny. Which is usually the case. How was your workout? My workout was good. You don't have the headset. I don't, but I think the volume's already low. Ah, good. Yeah. Perfect. Um, workout was good. Yeah, what'd you do today? Did shows today. Boy, was it crowded when I got to the gym this morning. Really? I got oh, there, you got there really early. I, got I heard there, you leave uh, early. Yes, I was in the gym working out before 7 o'clock. Oh, wow. And I mean, it was mobbed in the freeway area. I'm like, dag nabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to work, do, do things a little bit differently today. But, you know, that always works out well because your body's not used to it and you wind up doing things that are different. Um, and so, yet you did not get home early. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... No, but I did uh, shoulders, and Sorry. I did triceps, abs, and that's it. And you talked to people. I did. I didn't talk that much, though. No. no. Gave out one of our cards. I did give out one of our cards. Which is yeah. cool. That's cool. That's, that's very awesome. cool. He says he's going to check us out, so we'll see. Awesome. Yeah. What did you uh, have for breakfast? Or what are you having for breakfast? Today yeah. is the works. So what do I mean by the works? <laughs> Oatmeal, hemp seed, chia seed, um, amla, Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, spirulina, hemp seeds. Did you say hemp seeds two times? I don't know, but I might have had it twice, so it counts. <laughs> um, banana, blueberries, and raisins. Good morning, Kristen. I bet it is cold in morning, Ontario. Kristen. I yes. have no doubt. I have no doubt. It's yes. probably as cold there as it is here, at least. Yeah. And I'm having all the same stuff, except I put turmeric in mine because I don't put turmeric in my hot water. Right. And I have turmeric and a little bit of pepper. And I put some pepper in mine, too. And if you were here yesterday, you know that that's because we have learned that turmeric and pepper together helps the turmeric, the inflammation mm -hmm. stuff that turmeric does, gets better because right. it becomes more bioavailable. Bio makes it bionic. <laughs> yeah, that. That's what it does. <laughs> Um, so you only need like a tenth of a teaspoon of pepper with your teaspoon of turmeric and right. it um, really spikes up the uh, bioavailability of the turmeric. So we're trying that. I have no idea what black pepper tastes like in oatmeal, but I threw some in there. We are the experiment. <laughs> exactly. We're doing case studies of two. <laughs> no placebo effect, sorry. Placebo, yes, exactly. Yeah, that, that placebo. Close, it's close. So those of you who have been with us since the beginning, since we started doing these lives in October, probably know kind of why we did this, where we started, mm -hmm. because you've been with us on the journey. But there's a lot of new people here who ha don't know, and we're starting to get a lot of questions about, why do you do this? So we thought, since it's Friday and it's an easy, you know, comfortable day, we thought, you know, we'll, we'll kind of just tell our story about how we ended up here. Right. So do you want to start, where do you want to start? Do you want to start with like the beginning beginning? Or well, I don't think we want to go back to, you know, 25 years ago. <clears throat> You know, with the whole bodybuilding stuff. Um, we can rehash that, I think, at a different time. Um, do you want to start with what we used to eat? Yeah, so um, basically, I used to do all the cooking. Now Robin does all the cooking. So, <laughs> it's a good deal for him. I'd say, I don't know how that happened, but that's okay with me. <coughs> so what happens is I'm, I'm a big cook a lot on the weekends person, and Russ is more of a cook every night person. Mm -hmm. So when we were eating um, regular foods... Basically the Western... Well... I don't know if it's fair to say the Western diet, because we were trying to eat as healthy as possible. Um, we just didn't have the knowledge. Right. So Kristen asked, do we know anything about black pepper and nutrients? I haven't read anything about that specifically. I just read about black pepper and turmeric. Right. But I'll keep my eyes open for black pepper and, and other nutrients as well. Right. Then before we find out, we'll share. Absolutely. Um, so anyhow. We ate a pretty clean Western diet, I guess. Yes, yes. We didn't um, eat a lot of processed foods. And again, our typically, um, Robin used a, a few condiments. My condiments before we went on this were basically Tabasco sauce and guess what I still use Tabasco sauce um, and, and mustard those mustard, were like those yeah. were my two things so. yeah. and mustard is still fine as well right exactly um, so that wasn't big for me uh, Robin always liked a little salad dressing which I still do and you like barbecue sauce which I don't use anymore right um, and on rare occasions mayonnaise I guess I do still have mayonnaise in the fridge I like it on tomato sandwiches right. I don't know if I'll still use it because it does have eggs in it right. but but so that was about the extent of it. But other than that, our meals were a lot of chicken, a lot of turkey, 
a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. um, I ate eggs. Robin really was never an egg eater. No, I eat a boiled egg now and then, yeah. but I was never really big yeah. on eggs. And when I ate eggs, I was always a two to one ratio, so I would have four egg whites to two yolks. Which made me crazy because he'd throw the yolks away. And right. It was such a waste of food, it made me sad. Yeah. But the problem with saving yolks is everybody talks about they're gonna use them eventually. Next thing you know, you got tubs, tubs and tubs of yolks that nobody's using. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, so they have to be thrown away. But anyway, um, so that was our protein source. Um, we always had starches with every meal because we were, you know, I being a bodybuilder, I always felt that was important. So that was always baked potatoes, baked yams, um, quinoa, which we haven't eaten a lot of quinoa lately. Not lately. Um, and pasta because you didn't really want the rice back then. Eh. So you want a rice fan. So we didn't and on potatoes, that. I love sour cream on potatoes. That's true. You didn't like sour cream. I always put Tabasco sauce, again, on baked potatoes. And sometimes apple cider vinegar. And sometimes apple cider vinegar, correct. I guess that's the other condiment that I used to use as well. Um, and then we always would have a vegetable. Our vegetable was either broccoli, peas, um, what else did we have? We used to use three string beans, but you weren't a big fan of those. Um, I feel like, oh, corn, not, not a vegetable, it was starch. It's, yeah, it is uh, a vegetable, but it's not green right. yet. Green, it's funny, it's yellow, but it's not right, considered right. that. And we used to eat salads, of course, and everything that you put on salads. So that was our basic meal. But the bad thing was, eating that way, we were, we were gaining weight, our cholesterol was going up, and I'm thinking, wait a second, this is the exact same stuff I used to do when I was bodybuilding. Right. You know, so there's where you can make an argument that your body, your younger body, can absorb and adapt to these types of nutrients better than your older body can. Yeah. Are you done with these? Because if I leave them here, I'm going to keep eating them. Yes. Okay. They're almonds. We're eating almonds. Yeah. So. What we had to do is we, we you know we realized we had to make a change because we were you know doctors were saying yeah you're getting older you're going to gain weight that's what's going to happen that's the way it works and we were like that doesn't just that doesn't seem right, right. that's not the way our bodies work right and their solution is always well we'll put you on this we'll put you on that give you drugs mm -hmm. and my friends were told me just to you know get spanks mm -hmm. if you and if you don't know what those are those are the stretchy like hold you in things that women wear. It was never recommended to me that I get spanked. Never recommended that you no, get spanked? No, I don't know why. It was recommended to me to get spanked. <laughs> but when we watched the uh, Forks Over Knives documentary, I think that was a big aha moment for that us. That was, yeah. Because I had talked about starting to cut out some of the animal products, but Russ's concern was what everybody's concern is. Well, what about protein? Right. And watching Forks Over Knives, we really learned a lot about what the human body needs protein wise and if, if you uh, are friends with me on Facebook you know that I posted last night that humans will believe anything except the truth they'll fight you tr tooth, tooth and nail, nail. on yeah, the truth exactly and that's what we've definitely run into is that as we've learned more and more about the truth and and what what people need to know about the science we're having a hard time with people listening. Right. Exactly. But so we we started moving towards whole food plant based. And that's what we encourage our clients to do and we encourage right. you to do is, you know, don't feel like you have to jump off a cliff and do it hundred percent. Move towards it. You know, start adding more plants. Right. And we we just decided, oh, we'll be like seventy five percent and right. If we're out, we won't worry about it. And if we have friends over, we won't worry about it. Right. I mean once a week we used to like to go get those little three ounce burgers. Yeah. Right? I mean, that seems, that seems so long ago, so far removed from that, but that's what we used to like to do, and so we continue doing and that. And we did that well into the fall. Yes, we I did. think we probably did that maybe into November. Yes, absolutely. I have to look at my food calendar. Yeah. Um, so, but, yeah. And then, you know, it just, as we learn more, we started moving more and more toward being whole food um, rather than having animal products in, right. our, in our diet. And we added intermittent fasting in July, right. and that was because my doctor said to me, Oh, you know, you might be interested in this and just scribbled some <laughs> books down on a sticky note and handed it to me. And I was like totally yeah. into it. Don't tell her she might be interested because she's she'll dive in. Um, I like to learn. And we found that for us, doing both really made a difference. Even when we were only seventy five percent whole right. food and doing intermittent fasting, we lost fifteen pounds. Exactly. So it's a super easy way to be healthy. And the intermittent fasting gives your body a break from processing food which allows it to um, to be able to heal. Heal, yeah, yeah, that's a good word, heal. Find those cells that aren't quite right and get rid of them and deal with inflammation right. and that kind of thing. I read another article today that was just talking about the benefits of it. And you don't have to do 24 hours. We happen to choose right. that option. There are right. a lot of other options and we've talked about you know fasting before. So you can you know choose a different option. But 
for us, it's just really been the right lifestyle. It, we're both at our ideal weight. Yeah. We both are, feel really strong. We feel really healthy. You know, and that, that gets me to think about the fact that um, um, I often talk to people, uh, mostly men my age. You know, I yeah. see them in the gym or where we have conversations. And you can see they're beaten down. And, and I used to think beaten down from life. You know what I mean? Just, just you have all this. But it's not the case. They're just genuinely don't have the energy they used to have. And I think it's a, you know, it's a foregone conclusion that as you age, you lose energy and you lose that vibrantness. Right. You know, and that's just the, 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 the realities of getting older. And I can tell you now, not true. I mean, prior to going on this, I'm battling, like, why do I not have energy? I've been working out my whole life and I'm in the morning, I'm dragging, I'm, I'm like, you know, it's hard for me to get started. And now I have so much energy, it's just ridiculous. So what I discovered yeah. was my diet was preventing me from being, you know, to have energy. Your body gets lethargic because it it's so, lethargic. having such a hard time processing the food right, you're putting right. in it. And, and I truly believe that if every person I've ever talked to about that could feel like I feel in the morning, there is no way they would touch an animal product ever again in their entire life. But when you say something to them, what's the response? I said something to somebody yesterday, I told you that, and they, they, they poo-pooed me, you know. It's just like they gave me the all like that and walked away from me. And in the meantime, they're complaining about this, and they're complaining about that. And, the and they look puffy. And, and so, yes, he's carrying extra weight, but he's not overly so. But he looked very, I mean, this day in particular, I noticed, I said, boy, he looks like he's, he's inflamed, like he's got swelling. And I don't know if he was out drinking the night before or what the, what the result of mm -hmm. that was, but I actually got a little scared for him. Because I think I think there's this misconception that you have to be 50 pounds overweight to have a heart attack. You don't. You know, there are signs, and they're not always that pain that you feel. You can just look at somebody and say. We've said before, for 49, I think it's 49 percent of people, the first sign that they have heart disease is death. Yeah. They we, die of a heart attack. We had somebody recently in Delaware, a um, officer, died of a heart attack, and they showed pictures of him, and he doesn't look overweight, and he's 45 years old. Young man. Yeah. You know and. You know, I mean, I don't, I can't talk to his diet because obviously we don't have that type of information. Right. But I mean, I'd be shocked to find out he was whole food plant based. Oh yeah, there, I, I would be very shocked. But it just for us, it makes us feel better. It, it makes you know, I'm happy with my body for the first time and probably. I am too. Not that kind of show. Oh. Um, <laughs> and probably about eight years, and that for me is a big deal. I'm mean, having been anorexic in my twenties. To be at a point where I'm actually content with my body is a pretty huge deal. Right. So yeah. that's that's definitely good. And I wonder, I mean, so you've had that. I had as a child, I was chubby. You were chubby. And I was actually called chubby. You know? Aww. Yeah, so, you know, nicknames in, in those, those days, whatever. Um, so I wonder if that has a lot to do with why I drove or you, you have drove, been driven to, um, you know, do this type of lifestyle. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. But you don't have to be so extreme about about it as we are you know people really feel like like the hearts and the flowers yes. and the smiley faces That's nice. thank you um you know you can do it just partially and start just like dipping your toe in the water right. and that looks like you know, eating oatmeal, oatmeal for breakfast, adding a potato that's mm. plain, you know, not with all kinds of animal products on it to your dinner. Right. Um, maybe if, you have some beans. Beans are really good. Right. Or you add greens. Right. Greens are phenomenal for exactly. you. Exactly. And, and there is a trend starting to go around. I hear about it not just by us talking about it, but I've heard outside of us as well, um, is Meatless Monday. I mean, just the thought of one day a week, you start right there, say on one day a week, we will not eat any animal products. Mm -hmm. We will also not eat any oil. You know, taking any oil. And we also will not That's take a oil. lot. You're asking me to do but a for lot one all day, at once. One day, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You're right. I am asking to do a lot. Because we didn't give up oil, like, oil right away either. That was kind of the last thing no. to go. However, I do think going to a 75% whole food plant-based diet like we did is mm -hmm. harder than taking one day a week. You think so? I do. Because I think... Psychologically, now I'm talking to a psychologist about psychologically, so this probably isn't going to go over well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just think psychologically, if I may use that term, that knowing there's an end. If you say I'm going to be 75%, that, that's a longer, that's, that's a lifestyle. If okay. you say one day I'm going to do it, then you can maybe rationalize that for people that need that. Um, well, you know, we've talked about how we, you know, suggest just, well, just try it. See what happens. Mm -hmm. You know, 
add some stuff to your diet. Right. Do a seven day challenge, which I'm working on creating one, a seven yeah. day challenge where this is what you can eat for seven days. Right. So that you know so people no, can no guesswork. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. I'm working on creating something like that. Yeah. But I just feel like if more people tried it and didn't immediately push back right. and say, No, I could never right. I think that they would be surprised how good exactly. they could feel. And, and that's what we get. You, you always you know, and it's that it's that self defense mindset I get that people jump on us with that um, but I mean like I talked to the gentleman today and I just you know casually mentioned that we work I think that I, and you asked me I don't remember exactly how I got to that but at one point I just said yeah and my wife and I we've been pretty much whole food plant based for a while and I feel great and he said really so what's that about and he got interested so sometimes you know it's a, it, you get that reception um, I think when I sit there and say, you need to be whole food plant based. Yeah, you can't point at people. <laughs> you know, then I get the negative. Then I get that, that attack right back at me. So And that's mm-hmm. normal. You know, Maybe that, that's that, a lesson I have to learn. You have to be, it has to be more of a dance, not a wrestling match. Yes, yes. So, exactly. Yeah. But for us, it just it, it is the right choice, you know, and it's not right for everybody. Good morning, Michael. It's nice to see you. Hey, Michael. Thanks for being here. Yes. Um, and I know that we do have people who follow us who are trying different things. They're trying some fasting. They're trying right. to add some plants. And that's our goal. You know, we always say we're not trying to drag anyone on a path to health. No. No. We're trying to show people who want to be healthy where the path is so that they have the opportunity to get on it and try it. Try it out for themselves. Right. And I think that that for us is the right plan. And so our goal is to try and reach the people who want more knowledge and want real knowledge, not some fad, not some get skinny quick, right. gain weight back, crazy yo-yo diet thing, right. but the real science that says, hey, if you try this, this is going to help make you healthier. And for people that do the yo-yo dieting and you know who you are, <laughs> um, you gain know, and lose think, the same 20 pounds. Exactly. Think about the fact that you could lose the weight you want to lose and not have to diet. Eat all the food you want to eat. And stay that way for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. You do have to change your taste buds, but that's not that hard. But they do change. And now what we're finding is that... Foods I didn't know I liked are super yummy. The the flavor. I mean, and here's something that I believe is absolutely true. And this is me making this up. Uh Uh-oh. Making stuff up. Is that for the longest time, I keep thinking, boy, fruit doesn't taste the way it used to taste when I was growing up. Right? And and I always blame the processing and and all that stuff. But what I'm finding now that my taste buds are now have changed from not eating animal products, is that fruit is once again very tasty. Mm. Like the flavors are coming back that I remember when I was young. Mm. So I think that's very interesting. I mean, I grew up in California where fruit is really fruit. Mm. So my sister and I talk about that. I don't know. If you get a, a genuine New Jersey peach, and again, yes, I'm from New Jersey, <laughs> then that's probably the sweetest thing I've ever tasted. What is Michael saying this morning? Additional benefits fasting longer than 24 hours. 20, yay, you made it 25 hours. Good job. Nice job, job Michael. Um, so the way, everything that we've read is that there's benefits at 18 hours, there's benefits at 24 hours, and then there's benefits at 36 hours. Right. We've never done a 36-hour fast. We've right. only done um, you know, between the 22 and 26, depending upon how the timing works. So there are also longer fasts that go into like the three days. But I don't recommend that anyone does that except under the care of a doctor yes. who's um, good at and knows has knowledge of intermittent fasting. Right. Um, I just don't feel like that's. It's, I don't it's, know. I don't have the knowledge to recommend that. And the thing is, um, and when we saw that documentary, is you start going past 36 hours, and you can start feeling dizzy, and you can start feeling fatigued, and then if you're out somewhere doing something, driving, it could be dangerous. So yeah. um, we don't we don't particularly recommend that. Yeah, I would say the, for the people that I work with typically do either the intermittent fasting where they eat in a feeding window, so they're fasting for like 16 or 18 hours a day every day, right. or they do the 24-hour fast like we do a right. couple of times a week. Right. And some of them, you know, just start out slow. They're at like 8 or 10 or 12, 12 hours, 13, whatever yeah. it is. Excuse me, i got to go off camera a second. Where are you going? Sneezing. Oh, he's going to sneeze. So there are, there are benefits to just giving your body a break, period. Bless you, dear. Thank you. Um, and I, I like the 24-hour personally, and I'm super impressed you made it 25. That's great because I think it's only the second time you've tried to fast, so right. that's huge. Yeah, that is awesome. That's good. Yeah. Cheers. Good job. Good job. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to add about why we do this and the benefits you know, that we found? The, and- the only thing I wanted to add is um, for people that do watch us and, and go to our website and all that stuff is, 
I think we'd be very interested in, in hearing the challenges that you've had, whether it be whole food plant based, whole food plant based dieting or fasting, and the experiences and where your difficulties are. Um, just so we can maybe interact with that and just, um, you know, understand Yeah, and I can work. certainly add stuff. If, you, if you're a member, you can just comment on the community page. Right. We can interact there. Right. So, yeah, you're right, Michael. There are people who do like every other day where they have a feeding day and a fasting day. Right. That is a, a style of fasting where right. they, they do 24 hours on, 24 hours off. I've never tried that. No. And I can't imagine that I would, but there are people who do it. Right, right. And, and, and you know, everybody's got to find their own style. I don't think we can say, say what's right and what's wrong. Um, find the one that works for you, you know, and, and just stick with that. I mean, that's the best thing. And, you know, when I do, you know, consulting, because, you know, I do have people who will just hire me for an hour to do a consultation of how do I get started. And that's what we talk about is where are they and what are their goals and what are they trying to accomplish and, and how can we get them you know, on that path with a foundation of here's how it goes. And then they go off and try yeah. it. I think the bottom line is no matter how you want to share it with us, we do ask that you share it because the whole reason why we do this is we're just trying to make healthier people. Right. You know, make um, it, make and just difference. giving them the knowledge to make their own choices. Oh, you know what else? We have the date for April. What was oh, it? Oh, yes, the 5th. So, so um, uh, Thursday. you guys know we did a talk, our talk called Your Body Can't Count Calories and Neither Should You. We did it at uh, the... Newark Natural Foods right. um, last Friday, but it snowed. And so we decided we're going to do it again in April. And so we've picked the date of April 5th. Right. We don't have the social media or anything out there, but if you're local and you'd like to come, mark your calendars April 5th, 6 o'clock at the Newark Natural Foods. We're going to be doing our talk um, again. Your body can't count calories right. and neither should you. And it's an opportunity to ask questions. Yeah, come interact yeah. with us. Their, their vegan chef is going to have some food for tasting. I don't know what she'll make, but right. she's going to have some foods for tasting and right. some recipes and such. Right. So right. mark your calendars for the uh, April 5th at 6 p.m. Right. Anything else? Uh, I don't know. I think we've been talking pretty long. We have long. been talking a long time. <laughs> so if you're, getting, if you're getting value out of these, we do ask you to like and share because our goal of reaching more people is predicated on you telling other people about right. us. So tell them about our Facebook Lives, tell them about our website, let them know that we're here to give good knowledge, and um, I really appreciate that. Right, exactly. And as you visit our website, um, please, if you notice anything that you'd like to see differently... Or your mistake, any typos... <laughs> yeah, share it with us. I mean, because ultimately, we want to make that a product that is perfect for the end user. Yeah, that's so, our goal. So we're, we're constantly tweaking. I'll be working on it today because I noticed some things I didn't like, so I'll be tweaking Playing a bit with today. it. Yeah. Yep. So thank you, Michael. You have a great weekend as well. Yes, Michael. Enjoy. And everyone else, you have a wonderful weekend. Right. And with that, we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. We'll have see you on day. Monday. <laughs>